And the next poem is called Liberty. And I can thank Catherine Ann Cullen for that because during um, COVID each day, Catherine Ann used to put out a prompt on Twitter. And I only did it twice, but um, I have it here, this prompt. And I'm speaking in the voice of Liberty. I preface it with a, a quote from a Chinese philosopher, Lao Tzu, and the quote is, he who conquers others is strong, he who masters himself is mighty. They made me in their own image and likeness when first I came to birth as an ideal in human minds. At first they called me Libertus, Roman goddess of liberty. They deemed me important enough to place an image of me on their coins. I saw the hunger in the human soul, the suffering of those in chains, for I had planted this longing in their hearts. In pursuit of my noble truth, much blood was shed. Yet I rejoiced when La Boulet uttered the words, La Liberté éclairant les mondes. And so the people of France gifted a statue of me to America. I stand in the bay, a woman made of metal. In my right hand, I hold aloft a torch. In my left, the tabula and sata. But they do not know me at all, for they made me in their own image and likeness.